The Northside Independent School District says the players accused the referee of using racial slurs leading up to being blindsided at the game in Marble Falls last Saturday. But the district said those players and an assistant coach could be disciplined, and that does not even include possible criminal charges. KXAN's Chris Sadegi spoke today to the chief of police in Marble Falls on what could determine if a crime took place. Before the video went national, before it went viral, police say their investigation was underway. The officers uh, Friday evening had an initial interview with the uh, referee afterwards and got the basics of what was going on. The video makes what happened indisputable, but the question is why? San Antonio's Northside School District said their investigation includes allegations the ref made racial slurs. The district also alleges the players were fed up with what they felt were unfair calls, and a John Jay coach may have encouraged them to do something about it. The students allege that an assistant coach said, that guy needs to pay for cheating us. The UIL and the school district's investigations are totally separate from this. But Chief Mark Whitaker's department is investigating whether the players committed assault. He says early indications are yes, but there's a long way to go. We're starting with the Class A uh, misdemeanor assault. Uh, which direction we go is going to be uh, highly uh, dependent upon which way this investigation takes us. Police want to interview all referees and as many coaches and players as possible. And prosecutors will have the final say. But this is something we'll further discuss with the uh, county attorney's office in the direction he'd like to see this case go. A direction the country will be watching. In Marble Falls, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. The UIL is also investigating and has called a news conference for tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in Round Rock to discuss possible discipline. Taking a closer look now, Texas is one of 21 states with laws specifically addressing assaults on sports officials. If a player or coach in Texas assaults a referee, it is a Class C misdemeanor, which basically means the punishment is a fine and not jail time. A bill to upgrade the penalty for coaches failed to clear the Texas Senate in the last legislative session. Texas State University head football coach Dennis Francioni weighed in on the matter today during his weekly news conference. The coach says he reminds his players that dealing with the referees is his job, not theirs. There's going to be different kinds of adversity in any game, whether it's the weather, whether it's the other team, whether it's the fans, or bad officiating. You know, sometimes you get some bad calls, but you can't do anything about it. You have to get up and play the next play. Let me handle that aspect of it, and you stay composed and, and play the game. Coach Franchoni said bad calls are just another external factor players cannot worry about.